Hey hands, how we all did do in house? Everybody holding off. Listen, I'm just gonna put it to you, babes. It is absolutely boiling in the UK today and yesterday. So I won't be daily uploading at the minute. I'll be uploading every other day. Otherwise, I may potentially melt it. I can't cope. I can't cope. Actually, I'm a bit hot, but I'm just gonna put it out to you. It's it's too hot. It, it it's genuinely too hot, and I'm struggling. You know, people get seasonal affective disorder in the winter. I think I get it in the summer because I'm just not thriving right now. Actually, but anyway, on a lighter note, we're gonna be doing a trailer review of The Sims for farmland mod pack trailer this is not the henford upon bagley trailer that is coming tomorrow also i'll have two trailer reactions one after the other he he love that for me but yeah this is a mod pack and this was announced it, i think it was yesterday or the day before on twitter yeah this is a mod pack this is not the new expansion pack however i do feel like this in conjunction with the expansion pack will literally be chef's kiss so i'm very excited arnie the sims plus is also the one who has made the world edit mod so i'm expecting great things from you right so here we are also shout out i really recommend this youtuber i've just watched this history and new pets video and you know what fucking fantastic i mean not fantastic that it was run by scientologists but they've done an absolutely amazing video on it she's not scientologist anyway let's watch it i am big fat excited actually i'm expecting great things from you mr potter great things love i, I love already Have you got a voice actor for this? Oh, oh wait, no, hang on, sorry, back the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just too involved with the love, honestly. I just love a bit of love. I've had a favourite Christmas films love, actually. But oh my god, I did not even know it's the slide. Well, I was just Oh my god, and that little fun in the background. Oh, what that what's that for? I've also never understood what um you know them water things are for, where the just kind of thingy water through. What does that do? Can somebody let me know, please? Thank you. Because I've always wondered, like, what's the point of just turning water? I'm sure but there's a reason. I'd have to leave the house to find that one out. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen anytime soon, is it? Oh, hey, hens. <laughs> oh, my God. Once young adults, we got married at the love temple. We got our farmhouse, started to build a windmill, took care Fuck of our off. first pigs, ducks, rabbits. Everything was like we always imagined. It was the most beautiful. Annie, what the fuck? No. Burnt it all. We thought we lost everything. She was destroyed. I can't blame her. Couldn't imagine this future anymore. I couldn't let that happen. So I got a loan at the bank in town and came home with a horse that made her smile to the stars and beyond. Sorry, I just want to pause this. I wasn't expecting it to be emotionally touched. Although I am a cancer baby, I'm not going to lie. So everything does touch me a little bit deeply. Oh, she's a horse girl. I love that. Nene. Nah, nah. And now that we had one, she started to dream again. I've got a brand new combine harvester. <laughs> Life went by. We got new animals, bought new crops, grateful of what the earth gave us. Gospel. We reached the peak of our dream. Just like we promised each other. Ah. But time is an enemy. No. Stop. 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 I saw these kids on the hills. I can't help but tell myself, what if? What if someone else can live this dream? Then maybe it would last forever. 
Well, what am I meant to do with that? What am I meant to do with that? Much to unpack, actually. <laughs> right. So I think the world is based in this looks with some of the buildings that I saw in the background. It looks like it's in the Discover University world, which is kind of similar to what they've done with the open world mod, with the open world mod, the Tuck. Did I pronounce that right? The Tuck of Wild that already existed and like destroyed everything in it kind of thing. And then that was the open world. So I'm guessing this is something similar to that. So, I mean, I was already blown away with the open world mod, so I'm expecting to be blown away by this too. I mean, look at the farmland. So I'm guessing it's like one big empty lot that you can farm on. The story and execution was absolutely 10 out of 10. I'm not a Sims sparked judge, so I actually got booted off the competition, spoiler alert, in the second episode. But, you know, Ninja, if you're watching this, you might have... I mean, I don't know. I would, though, if I was a Sims sparked judge, final, final winner, final fucking winner. <sighs> I mean, I'm perplexed at the swing set. What I think might be, because in the end we saw them swinging on this tree, I'd be really interested to know if what they've done is just separated this part of the swing and then also create a slide so you can kind of put them together so you're not just restricted to having a swing set. Like, say if you had, I don't know, what's it called at the top of the wall? If you replace the wall with, like, the freezes, that what they're called? The wooden things at the top of a, a wall, you could hang them off them. And also the garden and stuff, so that's... We've already got gardening, haven't we? But we've got literal hens, hay hens, with a uh, hen hutch. I'm not a farmer of chickens. I don't want to be part. I don't like gravy. So I don't know. A hutch, a hutch, that's what it's called. I'm intrigued by this as well. Is this something that's already in game? Is this something that we're even going to get in the mod pack? Or is this just like something that's been made for the trailer? But yeah, I'll be intrigued. Windmills aren't in the game already. I know that one. And let's talk about the fucking ducks, rabbits, sheep. Like, are they? Are these just a conversion of the dust bunnies? But I mean, ducks and the f the. Is this real? Are we getting a supermarket now? I need to know, babe. I mean, it, this looks like it's custom because it's got Pikachu, Buzz Lightyear, um, Harry Potter Lego. So I hope that we can actually go and buy groceries. Oh, look at that freezer bunny hiding in the corner there. Hey, babe. And a market stall. I wonder if you can have a farmer's market. See, this doesn't, in my opinion, how I think things are gonna go is in the expansion pack, like the official expansion pack that's been released. I'm expecting to get a farmer's market. Not that I've been told that information. I do not. So don't take this as gospel. This this is 100% me theorizing. I'm expecting to get a farmer's market or something like that in this new expansion pack. But I think it's going to operate in a way that's like the city living experiences. What's it called? Like the city living events. That's what I'm looking for. So it'll kind of be at a certain orchestrated time where I'm hoping this mod pack, what you can do is just have a farmer's market anywhere. anywhere. So I don't think that, you know, the expansion pack is going to render this mod pack on useless uh, i don't think the expansion pack is going to render this mod pack useless and i don't think this mod pack is going to render the expansion pack useless i think they're going to work together very very well to the point where there could be one in the same for me oh he's winking at me i mean how the fuck i'm intrigued and look let's just take a minute to talk about my brand new combine harvester how the fuck i wonder if it actually does anything as well like i wonder if it does actually water your plants for you and i also saw a bit later on in the trailer oh my god the fucking horses we literally have horses and expansion pack but i saw a sprinkler system so that that's gonna be fun i can't believe how many animals we got horses sheep duck, rabbits like chickens that's five. Oh, do we have greenhouses too and they can ride the horses so i'm thinking the horses are gonna work like bikes i wonder if you can interact with them too but to be honest i'm just so excited for this i'm so so excited for this so it comes out early access on june 24th i actually think i will be on holiday then i think i'll go the 17th oh, i think i go the 19th actually and i'm back on the 26th but i might have I might take my laptop on holiday with me so I can do a video on it. Um, but it will be a little bit laggy. I hope that's okay, actually. We also have a press kit, which I am not going to show the link to on camera because i done that before on a previous video and I leaked early access. I am very, very sorry. I did not mean to, Your Honor. I actually genuinely felt so fucking bad after that. And I felt so bad as well because you can't, like, you can blur things on YouTube but it takes a while to blur. And the entire time I was just... <laughs> But anyway, the theme of the pack is, you've guessed it, farming. Contains a new semi-open world, bada bing, bada boom, new animals, gameplay, and even a story mode. That's something I really like, actually, about Annie's stuff. They always have a kind of story mode with them, which I kind of, because The Sims 4 is released on all platforms exactly the same, which I, I like that as well. Like, I, I, I like that on all of the platforms, it's the same experience. 
But on consoles in earlier games, they used to really favor a story mode version of it. And I kind of miss that. So yeah, we kind of get that with um, Annie's work, which I really appreciate. Follow George's footsteps and bring the big, build the biggest farm you could ever dream of. He will help in this wonderful adventure, becoming a farmer in Eden Hills. All right, there are many new gameplay features and a new world, but in order to work properly, this pack requires you to own two expansion packs, cats and dogs and seasons. Also, we don't need bust the dust. Interesting, that is very interesting. So we've seen the semi-open world as well. I do have a video on the open world mod, so you can go check that one out if you would like to. Oh, oh wait, no, semi-open world. So it's a mix between the first and how the worlds currently work. Oh, that'll be fun. There's a huge open area around all of these lots filled with special locations that I call open venues. You'll be able to explore more freely all these locations without the need to go through a loading screen from the farms and fields area to the town centre. Oh, fun. So the farms and fields gives you enough space to create and build up your farming activities. It's bigger than 564 by 64 four lots combined together the builders will be happy you'll be able to grow some crops and raise animals in this area the area is divided into pieces of land you can you can buy or expand ex expand your farm no i love that next to the field you can find george's house you can go visit him anytime you want oh i love that he's in his house most of the time so go to him to ask for advice and help i'm sure he'll be happy to help you you might discover more about his story and the secrets of eden hills and there's the horse horse ranch where you can adopt and befriend horses what the fuck you can even go on a car walk on the promenade next to the mountains the farmer's market is the best place to sell your produce it's a nice place to socialize with friends and family and even buy what the other townies have crafted themselves the supermarket oh my god the city hall i really miss the city hall i miss like these boring things from the sims 3 like the city hall the local school the local shop the local book shop it's easier to get everything in the sims 4 and it's more realistic to life experience because you can just do everything on the pc but that's really what made like the worlds feel alive for me in the, in the sims 3 also i get some comments saying if you love the sims 3 so much why not just play the sims 3 and i do love the sims 3 so much but i also love the sims 4 actually i need a land grab works then she's not easy with farmers she really is her aunt's niece make it make sense <laughs> the love temple need a cute and romantic place for your sims to marry oh we get a little wedding venue and the bank oh my god i thought the bank was just there as like a part of the story we also have the jazz bar and the graveyard love that you can buy a piece of land grow some crops adopt new animals you cannot harvest any animal for their meat nor kill them i do not eat meat this appeals to me thank you all <laughs> so we have cows sheep rabbits pigs chickens fish farm beef farm ducks and horses Wow. When you went to Eden Hills for the first time, you'll have to go and meet George while helping you in your farming activities. He also has a special mission for you to complete. Help him rebuild the iconic windmill they used to own with his wife Adele. Investigate the mysterious fire that burned down their farm a long time ago and finally discover the secrets told in Eden Hills. Compared to Brookites, the story mode is not compulsory for you to visit slash live in the world nor expand your farming activities. Oh my god, I love that. And you know what? I'm really intrigued about the semi-open world. Where's it gone? There we go. Because The Sims 3 was a uh, completely open world, right? The Sims 4 is a completely closed world and neither of them are actually my favourite. I do like the closed world for things like when you travel to a lot, there's always people there. I do like that, but it feels less natural because it's like, well, these people are only there because I'm there. But then in The Sims 3, because the world's so open, you go to a lot and there's never anyone there. Like if you go to a bar on a night time, there's only a couple of people. Also, a closed world is easier for running on PCs and an open world notoriously slows your PC down. So a semi-open world is actually my preferred method of it. So we can like travel around our little neighborhood easily. But then to go somewhere further, we have to sit through a loading screen, which I also feel is more realistic. So neither a closed world or an open world is my favorite. It's actually a semi-open world. So that is perfect for me. So I'm really excited to see how this operates. It says on this one, June 25th, I think think it says on the on the trailer june 24th so yes that is everything i have for you today i am incredibly excited for this pack and it does some absolutely great work so here is a link to all of their social media as well if you would like to go and follow them i'll also put this down in the description of the video so you can easily click i'm fucking excited june 24th or june 25th whichever one you decide on annie babe i'll be ready in flamingo land waiting for you so that is everything i have for you today thank you all so much for watching this video i love you all and i will see you in the next one bye bitch